Before we go ahead and get into today's video, if you guys missed the review on Vice Unit number one, I will link it up here in the cards for you guys as well as down below. Don't forget to check it out if you want to see another unit from this collection. Now, today's video is all about Vice Unit 2, and I have it in the color Money Piece Caramel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> this collection is supposed to offer HD lace, a pre-plucked hairline, baby hairs, a deeper hairline, and ear-to-ear 5-inch -ear deep hand-tied parting spaces. And if you guys wanted to apply heat to these units, they are heat safe between 350 and 400 degrees. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Unfortunately, I went ahead and sprayed this unit down with my EVIN tint spray before filming this video so I don't have a clear shot of what the lace looked like straight out of the box. I'm sure there's another wig review out there on these units, so if you want to see what the lace looks like straight out of the box, you can watch one of their videos. It's not super ashy, it is a lighter brown but I just went ahead and sprayed it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to give glueless. Here's what vice number two looks like. I really like this money piece caramel. I feel like having the lighter blonde against the natural color is very trendy now with the human hair wigs and even, you know, just people's natural hair. So I was kind of interested in trying out this color blend. Now she is also very long, but I am really happy with this texture. This texture is nice. It's like a light yakky. The density feels pretty full. She's a little thick. I'm here for it. I'm kind of excited to try this unit on. I thought I was going to like the curly one more, but she's giving me kind of what I wanted. So like I mentioned, she is already set as a side part and it is a left side part, which is not my favorite. Kind of makes me feel crooked, but it's okay. We're going to work through it. It's going to be fine. And as far as the cap construction goes, you get two combs here in the front. There's a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. I will give you guys a close up of what the hairline is looking like. Wow. Like right off the bat this hairline is looking really good this hairline looks better than the first one now vice unit number one was pretty big on my head this one is like a perfect fit it fits like a glove wow <laughs> oh my god oh my gosh y'all see you see that parting space right you see it you you see it don't play me you see it i'm telling y'all right now for the big head girls this is comfortable. When I reviewed Vice Unit number one, I did take off my wig cap because you can clearly see that line right there, but I feel like it makes the parting space pop. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do and sh <sighs> stop. Okay, wow, we have a review to film. They don't wanna see you filling yourself in the mirror for 20 minutes, do they? No. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You do get baby hairs, but y'all know I'm gonna brush them back. I'm not about that baby hair life. It's just not for me. And I'm gonna pin this hair back so that I can cut off the lace and then we can go ahead and style this unit and I will be back to give you guys my full thoughts and opinions. Let you know if there's something that comes up that I just don't love. But I mean, like as of right now, pause the video and go purchase, okay? But yeah, I'll be right back to give you guys my full thoughts and opinions in just a second. Now that I've applied this wig, let's go ahead and get into the details. Y'all, I love this wig. I've already mentioned how the cap size is super comfortable on my head. I don't have on a wig grip or anything like that. And the only comb that I'm using to anchor this wig is the comb in the back. It's laying flat, okay? It is glueless. 
the EVIN tint spray is really helping to melt that lace into my skin without having to use any spray or glue or gel. If you guys haven't already guessed, I really don't have anything negative to say about this wig, so I'm just gonna talk about it and let y'all know what's up. So I really love this texture. It's kind of in the middle between silky and yakky. It has some texture to it and a little bit of coarseness, but it's definitely not like a full yakky blown out type of texture. I did get a little bit of tangling, nothing crazy, but I went in with my paddle brush and since then I really haven't gotten anything, maybe a few snags. This is a more blunt cut and I'm sorry that I'm wearing a black shirt, but I feel like you can kind of tell because this hair is not like a 1B. So it is very thick at the ends. I have gotten a few shed hairs every once in a while, but like I said before, if I really like a wig and it sheds, I can look past it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not getting clumps of hair. I don't have any tracks that are loose, nothing crazy. So a few hairs every now and again, I'm good, okay? <laughs> I will gladly throw that little hair to the side and keep it pushing. Love this color, I think it is gorgeous. This is again the Money Piece Caramel. I really wouldn't call these pieces caramel. It's more like a blonde 613 kind of color, but I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the contrast between the blonde and the dark hair. Now the rest of the hair is not a 1B. It's kind of giving like a very dark number four in the sun you can see that like chocolatey tone. Once you get out of the sun and you're not in like the direct light, it does appear to be like a super dark brown, if not like a light black, if that makes any sense. And I actually really like that because I like that super dark chocolatey colored hair. I think it is gorgeous. I think the best thing about this wig is the hairline. This hairline is amazing, okay? It looks so natural, very pre-plucked, really well done. And it's not like super rounded at all either. It looks really, really good. And y'all, this parting space looks bomb. Even if you're a right side part kind of person, don't let that deter you from purchasing this wig. I don't feel off. I don't feel crooked. I don't feel lopsided. I feel hot, okay? Like hot girl summer, yes. If I had to say one slightly negative thing about this wig, it's gotta be the curls. I have way more curly pieces right here on my left side than I do on the right. It's definitely giving off that I woke up like this, effortless waves, I'm going to the beach. I did my hair, but I didn't do my hair, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I love that look. I used to really love the barrel curls, very sexy, very voluminous type of look with a swoop bang. But I feel like in the last like six months or so, I'm really here for the effortless, I woke up like this, but I didn't look. You know what I'm saying? And I love that like, just crawled out of bed, but I'm good. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's a sexy look to me now. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that the barrel curls are not sexy, but this effortless wave, a little bit of frizz, a little bit of like out of place type of curls, it's kind of cute. The price point is also another pro with this unit. This is about $30 depending on where you purchase this wig. I will leave a generic shopping link down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on the bell so you don't miss another upload from me. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be very, very soon.